Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Suitcase in a Dream. It's me, Scotty K, and today we have an amazing experience for you out at the Kaneohe Bay Sandbar. The Kaneohe Sandbar is located on the windward side of Oahu. The Kaneohe Sandbar was formed through a combination of powerful currents, wind, and wave action. As those waves pushed against the reefs around Oahu, sediment was slowly carried away and deposited into Kaneohe Bay. So over time, the numerous large sandbars have grown and shifted, creating a unique and ever-changing landscape. What does that mean? It means you can stand out in the middle of Kaneohe Bay and only have water come up to your waist. There are a few different ways to get out to the sandbar. You can rent a kayak and manpower yourself out there for some fun in the sun, or you can sign up for an excursion like we did with Captain Bruce. They have group or private boat tours to the sandbar, and we chose a group snorkeling tour for two hours that cost us approximately $150 per person, which also included transportation to and from our resort in Waikiki, as well as snorkel gear, snacks, and soft beverages. We chose the morning cruise and here's how it went. Captain Bruce picked us up in the Waikiki Resort area at 7.40 in the morning. We shuttled over to the windward side where we launched from the marina at 9 a.m. It was about a 15 minute ride out to the sandbar. From there, we had an hour long snorkeling session followed by another 30 minute session of just floaty fun or paddle boarding. And then it was another 15 minutes into the marina to get back. And then the shuttle took us back over to the Waikiki beach area. This is a very popular excursion, so our boat was 80% Japanese tourists, which seems to be the norm, as the crew had a fluent translator on staff. Every instruction that was given in English by Captain Z was given in Japanese too. After the safety spiel, it's a quick cruise out to the sandbar, where, no joke, it is really weird to look out and see people standing in the middle of the ocean. Our boat dropped anchor, we grabbed our snorkel gear, we unloaded off of the boat and over to grab our life vests, then hit the water. This is our guide in the red trunks, Kusaya. He actually found a sea cucumber and was showing it off. And when he first put it in front of my face, I was like, oh my God, he's holding poop. Now, once you're in the water, if you can prove that you're an experienced snorkeler and a good swimmer, they'll let you unbuckle and dive down deep to get those great shots you're looking for.
What did you think of your first snorkeling experience? After an hour of snorkeling, we all took off our life vests, got back on the boat, had a few snacks, including some Spam Musubi. What? What are you doing? That's a teriyaki sauce, honey. Mm. That's right, Captain Bruce brings his own Spam Musubi for you, and that was Lori Marie's first time trying it. She loved it. <laughs> you did it! Look at you! Moana lives! This is hard. You gotta oh, use yeah. them core muscles. Oh, yeah. oh shoot! Well then, <laughs> what do you think, Moana? Do you think that my lashes are gonna stay on? Oh, Moana, you're funny. I give up, bruh. Bruh? Brada. Moana or no Moana, Lori and I had a fantastic time out on the sandbar. We really did enjoy the activities. It's February. But it's Hawaii. I'm having a better day than you are, probably. I don't want to like get another toy out. We have like maybe eight toys left, and then be like, "Really, lady, now you want to get there?" So after a few hours out on the sandbar, we pulled up anchor and set sail back to the marina. It's always bittersweet when an experience like this comes to an end, but just knowing that if we wanted to spend a full day out on the sandbar, all we needed to do was rent a kayak and paddle out, or book a private excursion through Captain Bruce for some untimed fun. Overall, this experience was well worth the money. The staff, the crew were incredible, but swimming with sea turtles is something that we never thought we would do, let alone do on a tour like this. It's one thing to see them out on the beach, but it's a whole nother thing to see them underwater. Do the sandbar. Sandbar is legit, it's fun. Captain Bruce, not a sponsor.